Hi, I'm Andrea and welcome to Productive C Sharp. In this video, we're going to look at my solution of day three of Advent of Code 2021. Day three is starting to become a little bit more complex. So let's have a look at what's the problem. We have a list of numbers as binaries. We need to calculate the power consumption, that is the multiplication of the gamma rate and the epsilon rate converted to integers. In order to calculate the gamma rate, we need to look at um, let's have a look. We need to look at uh, the most common bit in the corresponding position of all numbers in the diagnostic report. So basically we need to look at all these numbers um, column by column, so bit by bit. Let's look at the first bit of all these numbers find the most common bit, and that bit will be the bit in the same position in the gamma rate. And the epsilon rate is the opposite. You need to find the least common bit, and then you know, find um, the epsilon rate. So basically, we need to get all these number things, loop through them column by column, find the most common bit and the least common bit, calculate the gamma rate and the epsilon rate as binary numbers, convert them into integers, and then multiply them together. Let's see how I solve this problem. First of all, I read all the numbers from the day three input into a list of strings. I think the key here to make sure that the code doesn't become too complicated is treat these binary numbers as strings. Don't try to do like bit arrays and stuff like that. Otherwise, it's going to get too complicated. I also save the number of bits. And let's have a look at the solution of the part one. OK. I do an enumerable range to get basically all, an array of all the numbers starting from 0 till the last bit. So I can have an, in, an index of each bit. Then I do a select, and I get the character in position E for each of the numbers. That allows me basically to get all the numbers in the first column, and then the second column, the, second, the third column, the, the, each column is basically a bit. I count the number of bits that are equals to 1 in that column. I compare that with the number of bits equals to 10. If the number of 1s is greater than 10, the most common bit is 1. Otherwise, it's 0. And this creates the gamma rate. The epsilon rate is a, it basically exactly the opposite of the gamma rate. For when there is a 1, need to be a 0, and when there is a 0, there is a 1, OK? And then I simply convert the two gamma rate and epsilon rate into integers using the very useful convert.toint32 method. And you need to specify 2, that is the binary uh, base. And then I check the result match the value. So if you only represent the number using strings and do a little bit of uh, link in order to calculate the gamma rate and the epsilon rate, the problem wasn't too complicated. But the second part is getting quite tricky. So let's take a look. What we need to do now is calculate the life support rating. That is the multiplication of the oxygen generator rating and the CO2 scrubber rating. How are we going to calculate those two? Here we need to do a sort of uh, selection process that remove numbers uh, based on certain criteria. To find the oxygen rate, we need to still determine the most common value and keep only the numbers with that bit in that position. However, if 0 and 1 are equally common, we need to keep the values with 1. So there's a little bit of trickiness in here. To calculate the CO2 scrubber rating, we need to do the same exercise by using the least common value as a filter for removing before removing numbers. OK, let's take a look at the code. So part two, I'm using some helper methods here. So one helper method to calculate the oxygen generator, generator rating and one helper method to calculate the CO2 scrubber rating. Then I multiply the two values and check that the result match the expected result. Let's see how I calculate the oxygen generator rating. Well, I create a copy of the original list of binary numbers. And then I loop bit by bit through these numbers. I do the same exercise I've done before to count the number of ones and zeros. But now I'm comparing the two and making sure that 
I'm using greater than and equals them. And in that case, I consider a 1, otherwise I consider a 0. So I basically get the most common value, or I get a 1 if the, the two values are the same. So the number of 1s and the number of zeros is the same, I still get a 1. Then I remove all the numbers that don't match this criteria. So I'm filtering out all the numbers that don't match, um, don't have the most common value. And I look through all the bits until I only have one number left in the list. In the, in the list. And then I stop and I take the, that number, convert it to in 32. And that's how I generate the oxygen generation, generator rating. I do something fairly similar to calculate the CO2 scrubber rating. The difference is that in the condition, I'm checking that the number of ones, the count of number of ones, is less than the count of number of zero. If that's the case, I know that the least common value is going to be one, otherwise zero. And I do the same operation of removing all the numbers that don't match the least common value and take the first one and convert it into an integer. So it's a little bit more convoluted. It took me a little bit of time to figure it out, you know, greater than equals, uh, less than equals, and so on. But um, that was actually the, one of the most complicated parts to, to figure it out. And that obviously one of the biggest problem was understanding the problem itself. As you can see, the text of this problem is quite big. So it's quite verbose to try to understand all this problem. But it's part of the problem, right? Trying to understand the problem and then convert it into code. Uh, thank you very much for listening.